possibly the largest tsunamis ever experienced on Earth, were triggered by massive landslides off the flanks of the Hawaiian volcanoes. And these unstable areas will fail again in the future and trigger a massive tsunami that may devastate coastlines around the Pacific Ocean. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Hawaiian volcanoes are some of the fastest growing landforms in the world. The Pacific Plate is moving to the northwest over a massive plume of heat known as a hot spot. The plate is moving to the northwest at a rate of about 10 centimeters per year. And there is a clear age progression of volcanoes from older on Kauai to the northwesternmost island, to the younger on the southeast flank of the Big Island in Hawaii. In fact, the active youngest flanks are those that have the potential to fail in the future, as we will see in this video. Now, the evidence for landslides is super clear when we start to look at some high-resolution imaging. In fact, images made with sonar now show pockmarked areas of seafloor littered with massive blocks of displaced material off the flanks of islands here in Hawaii that show evidence of massive past failure. We're going to draw your attention up to here. Here's Molokai and here's Oahu. And here is Ko'ulau volcano. And about 1.5 million years ago, this area collapsed in one of the largest landslides, well, in geologic history. The new Uanu slide lies off the northeast coast of the island of Oahu. And let's just blow it up. It's actually a little too big. This is the Nu'uan slide, and we can just see how far out it goes from Oahu. And here is the area of failure. This entire area sloped out here for hundreds of kilometers. So keep your eye on the prize here. The largest landslide on Earth, potentially. Now, the Nu'uanu slide lies off the northeast coast of the island of Oahu and is one of the largest landslides on Earth, potentially. The slide is 235 kilometers wide and 35 kilometers long. Now, this landslide occurred about 1 to 1.5 million years ago when nearly half of the Ko'ulau volcano collapsed. And one of the largest blocks, which may be the largest landslide block on Earth, called the Tus Tuscaloosa Seamount, which we can see here. Now let's take a look at the size of this block. It is literally the size of the state of Connecticut. This is a block from a landslide, folks. And you can see the Tuscaloosa Seamount here is that block. Talk about megalithic. Holy macaroni. <laughs> That's a big one. In fact, it is bigger almost than the island of Molokai and almost as big as the island of Maui and Oahu and Kauai, the block alone. Now, this gigantic block called the Tuscaloosa Seamount is 30 kilometers long and 17 kilometers wide and sticking out of the seafloor two kilometers high. The remaining part of the caldera shows a steep fault escarpment where the failure occurred. And we'll show you some images of that. The Waialua side off the north coast of Molokai lies close to the Nua Anu slide and it occurred 1.4 million years ago when the East Molokai volcano collapsed. And so here is that Waialua slide here coming off of this part of Molokai. 
and again moving 25 kilometers out into the abyss. Now this slide is 195 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide. The volume of material generated by these two slides would have caused massive tsunamis or even me mega tsunamis, which models suggest were up to 100 meters high on the coasts of the Hawaiian Islands. And one possible piece of evidence for tsunamis is found on the island of Lanai, where blocks of coral are found 35 meters above sea level. Now, such corals could not have grown at these elevations and must have been delivered by massive wave action, by tsunami. In all likelihood, tsunami generated by these events hit the west coast of the U.S. and Canada. However, there is no known record in these locations, perhaps because they're so old and there have been multiple major events to change the landscape in those regions. But if we just get to take a, if we just start to take a look, you can see here the whole eastern portion of Oahu and Molokai has slumped off here in the Waianea slump. We have the South Kauai slide that goes out 100 plus kilometers. We have the North Kona slump, the Kohota Ridge, which looks like a slump. We have the Lahopeho slump and on and on. And the most talked about in recent times, the Helena Slump, where you can see evidence of multiple submarine landslides at small scale, but larger slumps like the Punalua Slump here, or the South Kona Slump, or the North Kona Slump. But the biggest threat here is in the Pu'u'o region near the Halina Fault and the Halina Slump where this entire region of the Big Island of Hawaii is fracturing and moving to the south. As we can see here on the graphic, major fissures, rifts, and the Halina Fault make this region very delicate. And if there was a large earthquake could rapidly move these landforms into the ocean, causing a massive tsunami. And a tsunami from a massive slump has been modeled, so let's take a look. Now what we're going to look at is the Nuanu Mega Tsunami, which was the slump that we watched, which we looked at under, underground here in and this is the one that took place about 1 to 1.4 million years ago. The largest landslide on Earth is being modeled in this video. And according to the research, during periods of rapid growth of the islands, which is multiple volcanic episodes for thousands of years, the islands get very tall and they are miles above the seafloor. So massive landslides are not only possible, they've been happening with regularity for tens of millions of years. And over the past 20 million years, there is, well, take a look, lots of major landslides that have been mapped, including the largest, which we covered, the Nu'u'anu, which went all the way out there and has the largest block ever known in a landslide that's 13 kilometers by 7 kilometers. In fact, 5,000 cubic kilometers of material broke away and ran into the ocean. And after 1 million years, all that debris is easy to see scattered beneath the surface. And there you can see some of the dimensions. And we're about to get to the simulation of this giant landslide and tsunami. So buckle up. At the outset, we recognize that thermal subsidence and erosion may have drastically altered the shapes of the Hawaiian Islands in the past 1.5 million years. In fact, there's evidence that they were all larger 
So rather than trying to reproduce the paleo geography, they run a pretty simple test. And what they're trying to show here is how big the islands once were and how much, in that case, about 30% of the island landslided out into the Pacific during this event. And then you can see here how steep those islands really are based on the bottom of the ocean. The speed of this material reached 100 meters per second as it moved out into the abyssal plain. And while less than 10% of the energy goes into the waves, these waves would be massive. In fact, a mega tsunami would be born. The initial effects would be 100 meter waves smashing back onto Oahu and Molokai. And during this landslide, run-ups exceeded 300 meters. That's 900 feet, 1,000 feet. That's covering most of the islands, except the highest parts. And in fact, killing everyone because most people live near the shoreline. And this mega tsunami would have ran across the Pacific and in less than five hours reached the Aleutians and the west coast of the United States. With waves between 60 and 80 meters running inland for miles and up rivers and killing anyone who had no prior warning instantly. This happened 1.4 million years ago. So it's anyone's guess how many animals and humans were killed during this mega tsunami. But it was quite impressive. And because there's little evidence of it, it means that the multiple other tsunamis along this coast have washed away the evidence. And, and these events may be more frequent than we are led to believe. And maybe there's a reason why everyone lives by the coast without prior information because the powers that be like the reset, perhaps. Now, geologists suggest that Kilauea's south flank will host the next Hawaiian collapse, and that's the Halina slump, and we're looking at it now. And that would cause, obviously, a devastating effect for hundreds of millions of people around the world, around the Pacific Rim. They would all lose their lives within just six hours. Now, we're going to leave you links to all this information, including Hawaiian landslides and potential mega tsunami, as well as the facts on the stability of Kilauea's south flank, because we're going to conclude now that the most dangerous of all the islands and flanks is the south flank of Kilauea. Now, there have been several recent highly speculative stories and rumors and blogs about the stability of the south flank of Kilauea and the potential for a catastrophic collapse that could generate a Pacific-wide tsunami. And according to this group, they're going to put the Hawaii Emer Emergency Management Agency, they are going to put these speculations to rest. There is no geologic evidence for past catastrophic collapses of Kilauea, albeit we've just seen dozens of other collapses around all the islands, including the Big Island. Such events are extremely unlikely in the future based on monitoring of the surface deformation. So because we have monitors, we will know if some slump is occurring. Now, Kilauea tends to slump, which is a slower type of movement that, according to this team, is not associated with tsunamis. Although localized tsunamis only affecting the island have been generated by strong earthquakes in the past, including back in 1974, they might be sticking their foot in their mouths because they just prove that it's possible. And here you can see the lower east rift zone cross-section. 
Geologic history combined with models of the south flank motion suggests that the likelihood of a catastrophic failure event is incredibly remote. So that means I still got a chance? <laughs> there are certainly signs on the ocean floor for landslides, and we showed you them tonight. These are from other volcanoes on the island of Hawaii and from other islands. But there are also multiple slumps around the big island. And according to this team, none are associated with Kilauea. Well, I disagree. Apparently, this team did not get the memo that we have LIDAR of the big island of Hawaii. And it's showing some very telling signs. Here is the big island of Hawaii, and we have proof that this whole portion of the island has slumped off in the North Kona slump. We also have the Polulu slump, a massive slide off to the north. The Lua Pehoho slump, also on the north. And then we have evidence of periodic small landslides along the entire southern coast, as well as the Halina Fault here and the Papau Seamount. And take a look here. This looks like a massive slump feature, as well as the Punalu'u slump. So there's been multiple slump activities falling deep into the abyssal plain, and all of these cause tsunamis. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and probably many more. What they're doing is coddling you. They're not preparing you for the inevitable. And the inevitable is written up here in a 2001 paper, faulting in the south flank of Kilauea Volcano, Hawaii. So we'll leave you links to that, as well as Volcano Watch. Kilauea South Flank, what's shaking? Where they lay out the risks of the Halina Slump catastrophically faulting off into the ocean. Now, the reason this would be catastrophic is because the sea drops deep and deep here. It goes straight down almost a quarter mile. So if you have any landslide activity here moving offshore, it's going to be a bad day in the Pacific Rim. What say you? Leave your comments below. We'll leave you links to all of the pertinent material. And here is just one example of those slumps moving out offshore. The amount of material here is cubic kilometers. And this picture is a uh, poly above Kaneoho Bay in Oahu and the slide scarp of the Nuuanu landslide that happened 1.4 million years ago. The largest landslide potentially in the entire world, eclipsing anything in La Palma. So there are threats everywhere. And like we said at the outset, it's not a question of if. It's literally a question of when. And we do have the data, as well as the high-resolution LIDAR that shows dozens of mega tsunamis produced by the Hawaiian Islands. So we're going to leave you links to this high-resolution map so you can do your own homework. And we would like you to comment below on your thoughts about how scientists around the world and governments are preparing us for what may be coming. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. We hope you got something out of the video. I certainly did researching the topic. We try to answer every question below. And you can help us along by supporting the work we do by becoming a Patreon. For just a dollar a month, all of our productions will be provided to you commercial free. If you don't have the financial wherewithal, you can be a hero and share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We love you. Be safe. And that's a boom.